Today we're going to talk about Satan fight against the fruit of the womb. Genesis 25, 21-23 And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife, because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. Midnight prayer is powerful, and it's one of the most significant ways God uses to answer the cry of most women believing God for the fruit of the womb. It's possible for marriages to face problems, but it is just as important to saturate your marriage with prayers. The enemy of every marriage is the devil. One of devil's agenda is to make sure every blessed marriage passed through a series of attacks, ranging from barrenness, miscarriages, difficulties in childbearing, birth by operation and many others. The major challenge for many women is fear. The fear of bearing children at menopause age. The fear of having only one child. The Bible says, He giveth blessings and added no sorrow. A fruitful woman is a blessed woman. Prayer can make a barren woman to be fruitful. The Bible explains in Genesis 1:28 when he says you shall be fruitful, multiply and replenish the earth. I found praying in the word of God as solutions for ending the era of fruitlessness in many marriages. Also, one of the major reasons why most marriages cannot multiply and be fruitful is when they are under a curse. Curses are as mysterious as they seem. For example, when a man is under a curse, no matter how much he tries in marriage, he will not get results. No matter how much his efforts are, there will be no miracles. A cursed marriage breeds shame and disgrace. Take note of this. Warning signs alert people when the enemy is about to attack marriage. What couples do with those signs determines how victorious they will be in fighting the enemy in spiritual warfare. Pregnancy is such an incredible gift from God. It is a blessing that spices up marriages. The desire of every woman is to conceive and bear children. Isn't it? A marriage without children is becoming a great challenge to most couples. This is a season of trails and temptations. There could be reasons why you are unable to conceive. It could be personal, demonic or even a matter from God. Although, God is never a wicked God. In some cases, he allows some couples to pass through some challenges for the meantime. For example, look at what the Bible says here. Psalm 27, 14, Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. O Lord, empower me to wait a little more for my fruit of the womb, in Jesus' name. However, this is not God's plan for your life. Right from the beginning, His mercies have given us the assurance of our marital fruitfulness. The Word of God says, Barrenness is not your portion in Jesus' name. In the course of waiting to conceive a womb, or bear your desire baby, I want to let you know that God's time is the best. That's why Midnight Prayers is a continuous spiritual warfare. For example, when God sees your Midnight Prayers are constant, fervent, He will take time to look at the righteousness of the prayers. James 5.16 Spiritually, your prayer life should not be weak when praying for the fruit of the womb or safe delivery. All what God expected you to do is to separate yourself from sin and cling to His righteousness. Midnight prayers are not theories, but a practical spiritual exercise. To come out from the Valley of Barrenness, midnight prayers plays a contributing role in bringing down God's glory upon your marriage. It doesn't matter how long you have been believing God for the fruit of the womb. It doesn't matter who's responsible or the person that vowed never to see you pregnant. The Word of God says, There is not enchantment against Jacob, Neither is there divination against Israel Numbers 23 23. Satan may tell you all this to weaken and discourage you. When you know the fact that you are going to conceive, no demon can take away that from you. Look at Hannah in the Bible. She has been looking for a child for years. She didn't see it, and thereby asking God many questions. The Bible says in 1 Samuel 1 10 20, God answered her prayers by giving birth to a son called Samuel. Who are those that actually need the midnight prayers for the fruit of the womb? Those women experiencing long-term barrenness. Those having constant miscarriages and cesarean section. Those women having no hope of pregnancy. Those couples have the issues of infertility. Those women under a serious threat of divorce or separation. 
These are strange powers that will allow you to marry strange man or woman under divine punishment. There are powers that would want you to marry a man or a woman who is not fertile. There are powers that will force you to marry a person who has short lifespan. Marriage is a mystery. If you go into marriage with lustful desire, or without divine direction you will surely wait to encounter the pains before jumping out. No prayers against the enemy will work especially if the person is not the one assigned to you from God. Until you confess your sins to him or her, you may continue to keep hoping for the fruit of the womb. May that not be your portion, in Jesus' name. Amen, Amen, Amen. Many couples are barren or childless today because the voice of a witcher wizard is speaking against their fertility. Their wombs and manhood have been declared impotent. Wiz and wizards in human form have confessed to having eaten the wombs and sperm cells of their victims. They made decision to make sure they never see you carry your babies. I pray for you today, they have failed woefully. The word of God which says you are a seed of Abraham shall come to pass in your life, in Jesus' name. Amen, Amen, Amen. One of the causes of marriages not having children is the curse placed upon the man or woman. Maybe the man or woman has been in a relationship where he or she cheated the person. Maybe you gave a woman pregnant and left her to marry another woman. Perhaps you as a woman you have committed some bad things in your past which has not been brought to the knowledge of your husband. Likewise the man, you forced a woman to commit an abortion and ever since then you have been having issues to impregnate your wife. Sometimes, this can be one of the many reasons why you still struggling to conceive or give birth to a baby boy or a baby girl. This is why you and your husband must stand up in midnight for mercy and must send God's fire to break any curses or soul tie entered with anybody consciously or unconsciously. You need to plead the blood of Jesus to wash away your sin. For example, when a demonic foundation has been built in a marriage through a person's past life, it is likely for the person not to enjoy his marriage for a longer time. Many marriages are in a state of trouble because they are not been able to saturate the wall of their marriage with prayers. You need to take midnight prayer for fruit of the womb when Unbelievers are asking where is your God? When your marriage is at stake You have been tied down with sickness and infirmity Things aren't working out well for you When people are mocking you When people have already concluded that you are finished When your enemy has changed your name from joy to sorrow When you are confronted with enemies that are ready to put you to shame When there is no hope of having children When you are told by a doctor that you have no womb or that you have fibroid If any of the problems listed above is happening, there is nothing you could do, not a native doctor, than to pray for the divine intervention of mercy and forgiveness over your marriage. If you really want to deliver you and release your babies to you, these are the common spiritual work you need to do. Give your life to God and let Him become the control of your life. Confess your sin and ask for forgiveness. Pledge that you will not go back to it. You must not try the devil's solution, if you do, the arrow will multiply because it is only light that can overcome darkness. Praise and worship. Rise up this midnight and take these prayers. Begin to thank God for the miracle of child delivery. Read the following Bible verses, Psalm 7:17, James 1:17, Colossians 3:15, 2 Corinthians 2:14. Today, as you get to know this wonderful revelation of truth, I pray that your heart is softened and receptive to the Holy Spirit's direction in your life. With this change of heart you will experience effortless change by Him. Your mind will naturally align with His direction. The result, life and soul peace. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Amen, 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 Amen. God bless you man of God. My Father, I thank you for your mercies endureth forever. Lord Jesus, I thank you for you were highly exalted in my marriage. O oh God, I praise you for taking your rightful place in my place. My Father, I thank you for connecting me to my destiny husband. Father I praise you for your faithful, my Father, I thank you for your mercies endureth forever. Lord Jesus, I thank you for you were highly exalted in my marriage. O oh God, I praise you for taking your rightful place in my place. My Father, I thank you for connecting me to my destiny husband. Father I praise you for your goodness and mercy that uphold me throughout my marital challenges. O oh Lord, I thank you for the forgiveness of our sin, and for all that you have done for us and what you still doing. My Father, 
I praise you for the plans and purpose for my marriage to be blessed with children. Lord, I praise you for opening my womb for babies and my marriage for everlasting joy. My Father, I praise you for making it possible for me to recognize your marvelous works in my life. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. Father, I praise you for always being with us, Lord, let your presence never depart from us. Father, I will sing aloud of your praises before unbelievers and I will not be ashamed. I praise you because there is nothing that is too difficult for you to do in our lives. Father, receive all the praises and thanksgivings for our marital fruitfulness. O Lord, I thank you for your great moving blessing me with the fruit of the womb. Lord, I give you praise for not allowing my trust in you to be in vain. Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name from everlasting to everlasting. Father I praise you for only you can do what no man can do in Jesus' name. I will praise you for answering my prayers of the fruit of the womb despite the fact that I am not seeing it. No matter the plans of the wicked, O oh God, I will continually thank you because the devil has lost the battle this time. Begin to praise and thank him in any way. Goodness and mercy that uphold me throughout my marital challenges. O oh Lord. I thank you for the forgiveness of our sin, and for all that you have done for us and what you still doing. My Father, I praise you for the plans and purpose for my marriage to be blessed with children. Lord, I praise you for opening my womb for babies and my marriage for everlasting joy. My Father, I praise you for making it possible for me to recognize your marvelous works in my life. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. Father, I praise you for always being with us, Lord, let your presence never depart from us. Father, I will sing aloud of your praises before unbelievers and I will not be ashamed. I praise you because there is nothing that is too difficult for you to do in our lives. Father, receive all the praises and thanksgivings for our marital fruitfulness. O oh Lord, I thank you for your great moving blessing me with the fruit of the womb. Lord, I give you praise for not allowing my trust in you to be in vain. Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name from everlasting to everlasting. Father I praise you for only you can do what no man can do in Jesus' name. I will praise you for answering my prayers of the fruit of the womb despite the fact that I am not seeing it. No matter the plans of the wicked, O oh God, I will continually thank you because the devil has lost the battle this time begin to praise and thank him in any way. O Lord, show me your mercy and revive my womb through the power of your forgiveness, in the name of Jesus, in your mercy O Lord, do not cast me away, in the name of Jesus. My God, hear my cry for transformation, cover me with your mercy, in the name of Jesus. My Father, show me your mercy over my marriage tonight, in the name of Jesus. Mercy of God, erase every negative word affecting my life. In the name of Jesus, mercy of God. Restore back all my lost blessings in my marriage, in the name of Jesus. O Lord, restructure my life again and let your mercy come down upon me, in the name of Jesus. The sin of my parents upon my head, mercy of God take them away, in Jesus' name. Father, I cry out unto you concerning my present situation, O Lord arise by your mercy and silence my problems, in Jesus' name. O oh, heaven help me and forgive me of all my past sin affecting the seed of greatness, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, I am in dire need of your mercies, forgive me and wash away my sins, in the name of Jesus. My Father, my age is fast going, arise O oh Lord and cover my marital shame and disgrace, in Jesus name. Let your mercy save me from the curse of barrenness slash miscarriage, in the name of Jesus, O oh mercy of God cancel the consequences and negative effect of this sin. Mention them on my marriage, in the name of Jesus. Father, give me the grace to confess all my known sin to my husband, in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, please, take away every satanic burden that is bringing frustration in my marriage, in Jesus' name. By the great mercy of God, come down with your virtues and settle my case today, in the name of Jesus. Whatever is still delaying my conception up till now, Father, let your mercy take them away from me, in Jesus' name. Cry out to God at this time like Hannah and emotionally pour out your mind to him. 
Thank you the King of Kings for answering my prayer of mercy and forgiveness. What's wrong with you and my wife? My husband I don't know, since last week I'm not feeling well inside me. Then you need to get to hospital, if God permit tomorrow okay. Okay please dear. Doctor please why smiling? After the testing it show what happened to me please. It show that you are pregnant with twins four months madam. Doctor you say? I said you are pregnant and reason why I am smile is, I remember I told you five years ago that, you can't conceive because you don't have a womb so I'm very shock. Please continue to serve the God you are serving for this miracle is too huge. Since I started my work as doctor 20 years in this work, I never see this kind of miracle before. Congratulations woman. Thank you Jesus for glorified yourself in me. Welcome dear, what does the doctor said? Gus what dear? You leave home so sad why are you so happy my wife? Tell me can't wait to hear. After test and everything, doctor said I am four months pregnant with twins. Four months pregnant with twins? Stop joking jer. I'm not working my dear. This is my receipt on the table. Hallelujah, over 10 years we got married finally I'm also going to be called father. This is what God can do, and I thank you too for being patient for me till now. We give God all the glory, now our home is blessed with twins, I can't wait to welcome my bounce babies. To sow a seed into this ministry for bundle to upload spiritual and revival videos please you can do it only this number plus 233 My name is Michael Soul. Or send it through this bank account 611101017835 GCP Bank and the name is Michael Soul. God bless you for supporting the work of God.